Hello, this video is going to be on how to change the theme up here and these things up here uh, using Vista Glass or Universal Theme Patcher. They both work the same. You basically download it. So you go to, I will be leaving links in the descriptions for everything. Go to Vista codegazers.com click right here it's gonna download it I'm not gonna download it because I already have it once it downloads you'll have one of these they're gonna give you some offers you can decline or accept it's up to you once it's on you click on it it's gonna run it's gonna ask for permission you press continue then you're gonna click here it's gonna reboot your system once it turns on you're gonna click right here then you're going to patch your styles. Click patch. I'm not going to do it because mine is already patched. That's it. Uh, Universal Theme Patcher is very similar to that. Uh, it's more defined. Though it, it actually asks you what you want to patch. Just select everything on it. And that's it. Now you go to open your browser, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whichever one you use. Go to DeviantArt. I will leave a link to this guy's page. Um, he's, his is pretty good. Uh, Glasgow Final. So I'm going to leave a link to this one. And then you can just hit download right here where it says uh, download. <laughs> right underneath their advertisements. Click download. Save. Open with your extractor. You'll have the folders. One of the things that you want to check for uh, is that it has the little shortcut. It has two of these, one a bigger file and one a smaller file. And the reason for that is um, it makes it easier when you go to change your themes. Um, easier to find. But they're not necessary. And there's ways to work around that not important right now so extract it to your desktop click OK okay should have done it to both Okay, so now you have them both. You can close that. Go to computer, C drive, Windows, resources, themes. And then just drag and drop. I'm not going to do it because mine are here. Glass glow, glass glow, the small one, C6.5. And then in there, there's got to be another one. Glass glow. Okay. So you want to make sure this one has an orb too. Um, that they're in there. That's it. Now, I'm going to delete these because I don't need them. I don't want to have doubles. Personalize, right click anywhere on your computer, hit personalize, go to themes. In your case, if this is the first time you that you're doing it, you would just have Glass Glow and, and Windows Vista. Windows Vista is the theme, and it'll show you right here which one you have. So since we just downloaded Glass Glow, that's the one I'm gonna open to show you how it will work. You see it already changed the background here, and this looks a little bit different. Click apply. Wait a few seconds as Windows changes everything for you. There it is. 
I got my new background. The orb has changed. This is transparent as you can see. This kind of glows when you click on it. See how it turns a little reddish, whatever. Everything sort of glows. And that's it. Uh, then you can just add themes in the future. You don't have to do anything with Vista Glass right here. Nothing with this. Just extract your theme that you choose. Extract to your desktop. Drop them in your uh, theme folder. And then you'll have a list right here. The more you put, the bigger the list would be. Uh, for example, let's do the snow leopard. Some are better prepared than others. As you can see, this one did uh, the garbage can, so he, he did uh, the icons or whatever. Press apply. And right off the bat, you see my mouse already changed. That was the first thing that changed. See the little spinning thing right there? As it's popping up, that means his, his computer is changing the stuff around. And now you have a Mac type theme. That is all you have to do. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, leave your comments, uh, rate, leave video responses, and be kind and love one another, and God bless.